Jake, you're back this week and you're back with a win. You must be feeling pretty happy right now. Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, obviously it was disappointing last week and especially when you don't play, you feel a little bit guilty, but um, it was great to be back and uh, to come over here and I think play the way that we did. Uh, I'm just so proud of the boys because last week a team scored 110 points and um, it's probably not the style that we, that we want to play. And uh, for us to be able to come over here, I think they scored 39 points. It's just a great team day effort. So I'm um, super proud of the boys. And how are you feeling after that one first game back? Yeah, not too bad. Um, hurt my ankle in the first quarter, um, which wasn't great, but uh, I battled through and um, I feel pretty good now. So uh, it was just good to get it under the belt because your first one back, even though it was only a week, you don't feel great for the f in the first quarter. So I was blowing a little bit, but it's good to be back. As you said, kept them to 39 points. How did you manage that defensive lock-in and the inside 50s were ramped up in comparison to last week? Yeah, I think um, we had a big focus on it. Um, for us, we want to be a team that uh, plays forward half and it's probably like every team. I think every team mentions it now. Um, it's a way to go. It, it wins finals, it wins big games. So for us, uh, we've probably lacked in that area over the last couple of weeks. So for us, we just wanted to be really aggressive and um, get the ball in our half and uh, let our dynamic forward line do the rest because when you've got guys like Bailey Fritz, Cozzy, Sam Wiedemann marking the ball, um, Jake Melchon playing a role, like it's, it's pretty easy to get it in there and then they're able to score. So for us, it was uh, a big focus and I thought we executed well. Korea is always a bit of a hostile environment. Do you guys soak up that energy or just try to block it out? Oh, we love it. I think that um, we always seem to play better on away trips. I think it's the, the camaraderie that we have, the, the closeness that you get throughout those couple of days. Um, it's a bloody long flight over here, so um, you know a lot of talking, a lot of games, um, but for us to be able to come over here, hostile environment, as you said, and to play the way that we did, it was pretty special. Obviously a bitty, pretty big run home now, three sides in the top eight. Does defeating a top eight, top eight side in Fremantle give you that confidence heading into that last stretch? Yeah, I think so. I think they're, they're a really good side and they really touch us up the last time we played them at the MCG. Um, we were able to play well in the first half, but the second half they got their game going and um, it was a really disappointing effort. So for us to come over here, their home deck, Friday night, um, and beat them, it does give us confidence. But we knew that our method stacks up and for us to be able to, you know, just back that in and uh, it's going to be, I'm looking forward to the last three games. I'm really excited and um, it's going to be t challenges, but I think we wouldn't have it any other way. We wouldn't want to have it any other way. If you go in playing teams that might be below you, you know, you don't know where their mindset's at. We know where these three teams' mindsets are going to be at and it's going to be trying to get a top four spot and that's the same as us. Thank you so much and congrats on the win. Thank you.